Hey everyone and welcome back to another terrarium build. Today I'm going to show you how I made this levitating terrarium. Without any delay, let's get right into it. The first component for this build is a levitation platform. This essentially uses maglev technology to suspend a magnetic disc above the main platform. That said, we will modify this device in order to levitate a terrarium. This one can suspend up to 13 ounces, which should be more than enough to make an awesome terrarium. I should also mention that these platforms aren't cheap. Regardless, there are a lot of options out there, so if you shop around, you could probably find something in your budget. I'll leave a link down in the description for the one that I used here. From there, I got some foam core board in order to conceal the platform. As is, it doesn't really fit the aesthetic that I like. So I cut out a few pieces of foam core to make a box. After getting the pieces cut out, I set them up to ensure they fit together properly. Then I attach them together using some rubber cement. In case you've never used rubber cement before, it works best by applying it to both surfaces. Then you let the cement dry and put the pieces together, which is exactly what I'm doing here. Afterward, I used some hot glue to reinforce the entire structure. Then I disassembled the platform to line it up with the box that I just made. I did this to account for the power cord and the lights. I marked for these items and then drilled some holes. From there I reassembled the levitation platform and tested it out. As is, I thought that the box took too much away from the height of the levitating platform. So I removed the top layer of foam core leaving only a thin covering. From there I concealed the box with a piece of paper using some rubber cement. After that, I got a bunch of leaves to conceal the structure. As before, I used rubber cement to attach the leaves to the paper. I kept layering leaves with this technique until I got a cool look. After creating a design that I was pleased with, I used a rubber cement eraser to remove any excess cement. Then I applied two coats of matte Mod Podge to conceal the leaves. Afterward, I ended up with the final product that looks like this. I really like how it turned out, what do you think? I'm not sure if the leaves will stay green long term, but either way it will still look pretty cool. Next, I went back and re-drilled the holes from earlier. From there I placed the completed box over top of the levitation platform and tested it out. All was well, so it was finally time to make the terrarium. To begin, I removed the cover of the levitating magnet. Then I proceeded to thoroughly cover it in hot glue. Normally I would have done this with silicone, but I didn't have time to wait for it to cure. So if you're going to do this, I highly recommend concealing the magnet in silicone. I first covered the underside of the magnet, 
and then placed it into the bottom of a DIY ornament container. Then I proceeded to cover the rest of the magnet with hot glue. Next, I snipped off the hanging part of the ornament. After allowing the glue to dry and cool down, I added a layer of perlite into the container. This will be the drainage element in our false bottom. The reason that I used perlite was to keep the terrarium as light as possible. Then I added a sheet of carbon fiberglass window screen mesh, which will act as the barrier for our false bottom. Next I incorporated a very thin layer of my substrate mix. Normally I would have done a charcoal layer as well, but I have charcoal mixed into the substrate so we can skip that part. This substrate works extremely well for terrariums and if you want to see how I make it then follow the link above. From there I hardscaped the terrarium using some lava rock. I don't really care for the look of lava rock, but it's very appropriate for this terrarium because it's lightweight. In the end I thought that it looked pretty decent. Then I proceeded to plant the terrarium exclusively with moss, making this a mossarium. I used various types of moss and in case you're wondering, I'll put the names up at the end of the video. I then completed the design with a few accent twigs. From there I added a few drops of water using a pipette. This might not seem like a lot of water, but I pre-soaked the substrate ahead of time. This means that most of the necessary moisture is already present. Finally, I incorporated some springtails by shaking them off of a piece of charcoal from one of my master cultures. And to complete the build, I closed up the terrarium. All in all, I'm very pleased with how this terrarium turned out. I think that the base platform is probably my favorite part, and overall I think the terrarium looks good as well. However, I can't take credit for this idea. My man Matthew showed off this idea in a terrarium contest I did last year. I liked the idea so much that I bought the levitating platform pretty much right after the contest results went out, but I haven't had a chance to make the terrarium until now. Although his was slightly different, my idea was largely inspired by his terrarium. So thanks again Matt for the idea. And that completes this terrarium build. 
As always, I hope that you enjoyed this project and learned something new. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments below and what you want to see next. If you want to learn more about how to make successful long-lived terrariums, check out my channel or see the links down in the video description for more information. On that, I thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time, and peace.